Which one are we doing first? One, two, three. And we are live! Hello, everybody! Hello. Welcome back to day two of the second week of Stay at Home Tennis. Um, I'm just going to list a lot of things then. Welcome back to day two of the second day week two. of the fourth yeah. month of the year of 2020. <laughs> Um, hopefully you saw the description or saw it on Instagram Live. The things you will need is a racket. You will need some socks. You will need a saucepan. You will, you could just use a racket, but it will be helpful if you have a saucepan. Or if that's going to be a little difficult, you can also use a hat. We've got a soft hat that has a hard part. Which is a most Not hilarious hat. And you'll need, uh, obviously you need a ball. And again, you will need three items to run around. So, and you will need those first. So grab your three items and place them on the floor. Who are you? Who am I? I am Scott. And who are you? I'm feeling a bit like a Terence today. It's Terence, okay, it's Terence and Scott. Right, okay, we are going to put our three items down on the floor. Okay, can you see them? We might have to move them back just a tad. Tell you what. Bad camera work. I will move it down. I told you this was in shot. Oh yeah, that is in shot. Sorry guys. Right. Okay. So this is uh, another reaction exercise. So we're going to be calling out um, three, two, one. But you are going to be touching them. You're using your feet only. Okay. You can use whatever foot you like. So if Joe says one, I've got to go over and touch one. Three, two, okay, one. So you see how I can just step however I like. Three. I can cross over, I can step like that. As long as you're getting one foot behind one of those items, that is absolutely fine. Notice Scott's not kicking them. You don't have to kick them. You just have to step towards them and recover back to the middle. Okay, so let's do this for 30 seconds. Okay, so you've got your items ready and you are in front of them. Make it a little bit more challenging by having it a bit further away so you have to lunge. Yeah, so yeah. it's not just the one step. Ooh, almost set up for 12 minutes. Oh, I'll tell you what, there's a spot the difference challenge about our living room. Tell us if you can, uh, tell us if you've spotted the, uh, the difference yet. Okay. Okay, right, your 30 seconds starts now. One, three, three, two, 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 two. I'm stuck on repeat. Three, one, three, three, one. Two, two, three, one, three, 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 one, two, three, one. Stop there. Whew. Feeling warm, Scott? Yeah, I'm feeling very warm, right. Do you regret eating that pasta? I do, I had a lot of spaghetti bolognese. Okay, right. Let's have, catch your breath. Hello, Odysseus. Hello, Jack and Bruno. Hello. Orla, hello dad, as it says, hello Ed. <laughs> um, right, yes, Orla is correct. It is the piano, it's to spot the difference. Well done. We've no. moved our living room around a little bit. So that we have to do less moving around the living room before we film these every yeah. day. Instead of, yeah, anyway. Right, 30 Number seconds, two. Two. see if you can do, see if you can be quicker this time. Three, two, one, and one, two, one. Ready steps when I'm not saying anything, and three. Three, two, three, three, two, one. Ready steps when I'm not at it. Ready steps, ready steps, ready steps. Two, one, one, two, three, two, three, two. Ah, that's two. Three, one, one, three, one, three. And <laughs> stop there. So that is your first, first challenge. We're going to make it a little bit harder on the next progression, okay? On the next progression, I'm not just going to call out one, two, or three. I'm also going to call out what foot you should be um, sending to that item. So I might say, for example, right one. So that means I've got to put my right leg at item one, okay? I might say left three, and that would be the opposite like that, okay? So we're gonna call out, so you better know you're right from your left. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Or you're right from your wrong. Or you're right from your wrong. Bear <laughs> with us because I've done this activity lots of times before and often when I'm doing this, I get a bit carried away, a bit too excited, and then I start calling out colors. Completely other things like <laughs> colors. <laughs> yeah. okay. So if something random comes out, you'll know why. So right. I'll give you a little practice go first. For example, right one, right two, left two, left three, 
left one, right three, or left three. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. It does mess with your brain a little bit as well. Okay, what's this? Is it all this? Yes, yes, all of it right, uh, Ed. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It is the piano yeah, behind. Right. Okay, ready, 30 second challenge. Let's see okay. if you can do it as quickly as me or as slow as me. Just try and make as few mistakes as possible, really. It's not an easy activity. Right, time starts now. Left two, left three, right three, right one, left three, right two, left two, left three, left one, ah! <laughs> left three, right one, right two, left one. Right three, right two, left two, and stop oh! there. Oh, it was messing with my mind. That was I thought you were doing really, really, really good until that little bit where you just went <laughs> like you were broken. Yeah, I know. I was getting ready to like reboot you. My brain, I did go. Yes, I did stop there for temporarily. Right. Let's see if you can do any. Let's see if you can do any better. Okay, getting my breath back. Thirty second <laughs> challenge. And go. Right one, right three, right one, left two, right two, left two, right two, right three, right one, right three, left two, left one, left three, left three, left three, right one, right three, left two, left two, right one. Right one, left one. Ooh, <laughs> I stop there. Hold on, that two, number two, then. Ooh, that is right. Okay, move your three items out of the way. Okay. Um, okay oh, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> our next activity we are trying. Excuse us, we are going to be right up in your grill. <laughs> so we've got, um, we'll, we'll be showing you how to do this in pairs or on your own. If you are doing it on your own, you are doing it with us on the camera, but we will demo what you have to do in pairs first, okay? So one of you needs a ball, okay? And socks or whatever. Socks or be. just an item, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be facing my partner, okay? And I put the ball behind my back. He doesn't know which hand it is in. Okay, you all know which one it is in. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go like this and call out ball or hand. And Joe has to tag whatever I call out. So if I say ball, he has to tag the ball. If I say hand, he has to tag the hand. But it's not going to be as simple as that. I'm going to be changing it behind my back. So he has no idea. Okay, when I reveal it, which side the ball is going to be and which side my hand's going to be. Okay. So it's going to be like this, ball, ball, hand, hand, ball, okay? So you see he's got to figure it out. And when, if you're on your own, this is where I'm getting quite close, right. you do it, you do it with me, okay? And you're going to tag, don't tag, if you've got a TV, probably don't tag your TV. We don't touch anything. Oh, don't touch anything. Phone, you're not too small, can't do it. You're TV. just reaching across to the side that I'm doing it. So if I say ball, you're going to try and reach over this side. If I say hand, you're going to reach over this side, okay? So get practicing if you've got that, if you're doing that in pairs, okay? You can practice with me as well, and we're gonna get Joe to do this, because it's in, otherwise it's embarrassing all the time. <laughs> okay, so if you're practicing with me, hand. Okay, you gotta take this way. Ball, hand, hand, ball. And I'm just imagining you're doing an I'm amazing job right so now. So hopeful, everybody at home there, just playing okay. with Scott. Right, right we're gonna do this for 30 seconds, okay? Maybe let us know if you're doing this with me. <laughs> this will be quite funny. Okay, if not, the 30s, when Joe says start, you can start doing this in pairs. You just have to ignore me at the TV for the time being. You probably are already. Okay, ready? 30 seconds. 30 seconds starts when I get back on it. Are you ready? And go! And ball. Hand. Hand. Ball. Hand. Ball. How are we all doing at home? Ball. Marvelous job, I imagine. That's it. When I'm like this, ready steps as well, so that you're not just standing still. You see, Joe's going to do it at the right, uh, the right side. Hand, ball, <laughs> the wrong side, I hand. I nearly said Joe then. Ball, 
Five seconds left. Everybody. Hand. Hand. And ball. Stop there. Fantastic. Stop, did some counting at the end there. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was counting. And my stop there. Okay, right. right. So this time, you're, if you're in your pairs, you're going to swap over. So the other person is doing the handball. Okay. And then if you're on your own, you get to do this with Coach Joe. You're on your own, <laughs> you get to look at my pretty face. <laughs> right. Let me just check. Is that everybody doing this with us or? 30 seconds. Yeah, let us know if anyone's actually doing it with the camera or can they not bear to do it with the camera. Ready? 30 seconds. Starting now. And Off you go. Ball. Hand. Ball. Go on, speed up. Speed Hand. up. Speed up. Speed up. Ball. <laughs> Hand. Ball. Ball. How long have we got? We are Ball. halfway through. Ball. Hand. Hand. Ball. I'm just imagining Ball. people at home. Ball, a bit too slow there, though. Tagging, tagging Hand. the TV. Hand. And Ball. stop there. You did a fantastic job. Well done. <laughs> well done. Give yourself a pat on the back on that one. <laughs> okay, right. Next activity you are going to do. You need, you actually need two balls. Two tennis balls. Or if you don't have two balls, that's absolutely fine. You can use a pair of socks and a tennis ball, but you will need to use one of the balls. So what I'm going to do is put the ball down on the floor. The ball has to go on the floor. It can't be the socks because we need it to be able to move around. And now what Scott and I are going to do is work together. While I'm kicking the ball across the floor to begin with, Scott's going to throw it to me. The ball that's on the floor will always stay on the floor. So Scott will now kick the ball back to me and I will throw this back to him. And then we keep going. You don't have to wait for the other player. You just get rid of it straight away. Now, if you are on your own, Oh, we've got a way you can do this against the wall. So you do need two balls for this one. Okay, so Joe is going to be in a magnificent wall. Okay, and I'm going to. <laughs> I've always I've not been in the gym enough. Yet, so I have to use the racket to. So I've got both tennis balls, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick the ball to the wall first. And while the ball goes to the uh, while the ball goes to the wall and comes back, I've got to throw and catch at the same time. Okay, oh, see if I can do it. So I kick it to the wall and throw and catch before that ball comes back. Look at the timing of that. So kick, throw, catch. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> okay, so it is possible to do this by yourself. I was practicing it by myself as well. So kick, throw, catch. Kick. Throw catch. Okay, look at that. that was Obviously, superb. I'm not a wall. I'm not very <laughs> good at being a wall, but you get the gist. Okay, we have done this against the wall as well, and it does work. Absolutely. So we're going to start practicing. One ball always stays on the floor. One ball is always thrown. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. We're complimenting you, Jeff. So, right. <laughs> Great ballet stance. What position is that? Isn't that a second position or something? Don't know. Anyway, <laughs> right, so you're going to compete against us. So one ball is on the floor. Every time that the ball changes players, that counts as one. Okay, ready? Let's see if you can beat me and Joe. On your marks, get set, go. Are you going to do the counts? Oh, I've already messed up. That's it. So one ball stays on the floor. If you're really quick at it, you'll just send the ball straight back like we're doing. Otherwise, you may have to. Oh, we've got. We've somehow kept both tennis balls there. That's it. Sorry. What are you doing? And stop there. Anyone willing to step in and trade? Can anyone, can anyone see how amazing we were at that one? Fantastic. What was our score? No idea. You, you have no idea. You were we got side. about 10. <laughs> Let us know your scores on YouTube. Let us know on the comment section. Okay? Right. We are definitely going to beat our score. Okay? Yeah. Right, right, ready? I think our goal for this, Scott, shouldn't, shouldn't be to beat our score, but to simply not end up with both balls for one person. Yeah, I've ended up with both. That was not, not good. Okay, my part then. okay, what scores did we get? Well done. So that was 12. Well done, Adesis. That was a great score. Fantastic. You beat us. Adesis, are you doing it on your own or are you doing it with your mum, your sister, your dad? I don't know. There you go. Ready? Next 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. I will promise not to make this mess up. Let's just stop it each time. We're going We're gonna to do the slow approach, which is you can always Ooh. stop the, uh, the ball and nearly knock over a lamp while you're doing it. <laughs> there we 
go. We're going to improve our score. I nearly ended up with both tennis balls. Sorry, Joe. Yes, we are keeping it going. We are keeping it going. And stop there. We did okay. so well, Rob. What was our score? Uh, 18. 18. Right, fantastic. We nearly doubled our score. Okay, let us know if you beat our score of 18 or if you improved and beat your own score. Okay, next activity. Oh, this is my favourite. This is my favourite. This is. We're moving on to the skill of the day. So what we're doing is we're going to be looking at um, our volleys. Great scores. We've got 14. We've got Orla. We've got 11. Fantastic. Well done, Odysseus. Well done. Odysseus' is sister. Well done, Amir. Fantastic. Super. Right. So we're looking at volley footwork. And we're going to be starting off. I caught this... This has got various different names. If you know Emma Doyle online, she calls this the volley dance. I call it tennis salsa. And what you've got to do is, you, this is practicing uh, footwork, the footwork on the volley. So you're going to mirror me, and you're going to try and keep in the same speed as I'm doing it as well. So everyone's going to be stepping out with their right foot, okay? Then they're going to be stepping forwards with their left, okay? Then you step back, then you step out to the side on their left foot, then you go forwards on your right, and then back. So it's side, front, back, side, front, back, side, front, back, side, front, back. And we're doing forehand volley, then backhand volley, okay? So we're going side, front, side, front. Always going out to the side before you go in front. Then we open back up. Then we go to the side again. You can okay. catch us on Strictly later on this year. Absolutely. And then we're going to speed it up like that. See if you can keep in the same rhythm. Joe's going ahead. That's it. Oh. <laughs> um, pause there. Okay. So the aim of the game is just to try and keep in the same rhythm as us. Or we'll start off nice and slow again. So it's again, you're going off to the side first. Okay, so I'm going on my right side. Is that actually your right side? Yeah, in our camera, that actually looks like our left. So it's very confusing for us. It might be your right, it might be your left. Anyway, mirror what we're we'll doing. We'll keep saying right. So left. step out to the side, then step in front. Okay, this foot is now off the ground. Okay, and then I come back, and then I step to the other side. Then I come forwards, then I come back. So it's side, front, side, front. Okay, make sense? Come on, Ed. <laughs> Get involved. <laughs> right, okay, let's do it together. We're going to start off slow, and then you're going to see if you can keep in the same speed. So we're copying Scott. Scott, when you come down here, you can be in the middle. Then. Right, in the middle. Right, ready, guys? And off we go. Side, front, side, front, like that. So we're just going to keep into a nice little rhythm to start with. That's it. When you're doing your volleys, you always want to get side on. Notice how my shoulders are now going to the right, then going to the left. Right, let's gradually speed it up. That's it. And speed it up. You can hear our feet. <laughs> and stop. <laughs> Woo. All right, okay, God, that is a good workout. Right, grab a quick drink. I know I need one. <laughs> Did anybody actually manage to keep time with this there? I, I start, we started up a lot faster than I thought we were going to start off there. Right, next activity. And is everybody actually using the right footwork? Because that is not an easy activity. <laughs> it's a dance, but it's not easy. I know, I would love to see some videos of people doing that. That would be amazing. And we could critique them as well. We can give you some feedback. Right, frying pan, saucepan time. So get your frying pan or saucepan. Okay. You can do the talking because I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're going to try and do is combine what the footwork we were just practicing. So this guy's going to, on his forehand side, step out with his right leg and then step across with his left. And he's now going to try and catch the ball in the saucepan. Here we go. Let's see if I can do it. This is not particularly <laughs> easy. We'll tell you some ways of making this easier in a bit. So if you're doing this in pairs, don't throw the ball straight to him. If I throw the ball straight at oh, Scott, we actually. You should be using socks for this, not a ball. Sorry, my bad. Don't throw the pair of socks straight at your partner <laughs> because Scott's going to be stepping over here, like so. And if I throw the ball here, or socks here, that, that's not where he needs to be. I need to throw it to where he is moving to. 
So I'm going to step out to the side first. So I step, then Joe throws it, and then I try and catch it. Notice this foot is now off the ground because I stepped across, and then I stepped in front to catch the pair of socks. I'll do that again. So I go step, step, and miss it because <laughs> I'm looking at the camera. I go step, step, and catch it in. Scott, can you give a show on your backhand side? Absolutely. Step. Step. Oh, look at that. That's the first time that you've done that. <laughs> Let me do one more. Let me do one more. So I'm in my ready position. Step. Step. Yes. Just fantastic. fantastic. He was actually convinced they didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to be very soft with your hands as well. If you're going like that, you're not going to be able to catch it. Right. Scott, what about if someone's finding this too difficult? If you're doing it too difficult, this is where you could use a hat. You could just... Um, Ignore some of the footwork slightly and just making sure that you're coming forwards to catch it. Doesn't matter. Um, if you're finding it really hard, doesn't matter what foot you, foot you use, as long as you're moving towards the ball to catch it. So so Joe's, Joe's got a hat and he's going to try and move towards the ball and try and catch it in his hat. Okay? It's a lot easier to catch in the hat because there's no resistance. So I'm not throwing it to him. Again, if, that's, if, you, if he struggles, I could just throw it to him. Okay? But ideally, I'm going to throw it and make him move and see if he can catch it in that hat. Otherwise, you're using your saucepan okay, to try and do that proper footwork. So he steps out to the side and then in front. Look at that. Perfect. And we're going to see. Want some socks for dinner. <laughs> then I'll do it on the other side. So then he goes step, step. That's it. It's in there. It's in there. Evidence. <laughs> and then I go back onto his forehand side. Step, step. Ooh, Perfect. Awesome. Very good. So the 30 second challenge is how many times you can catch him alternating between your forehand and your backhand each time, okay? So Joe's going to go first. Throwers, you do have to be nice. You are trying to work together on this one, okay? On your marks, get set, and go. So throw to the forehand side first. Oh, no, I did a bad throw. Let's do it again. Oh, no, we're going to have to do it again. That was my fault. <laughs> so you go forehand first. Yes, we're on one. Then you throw it to the backhand side. That's it. So you've got to catch it in your saucepan or catch it in your hat, always stepping towards your partner and out to the side. Super. Super duper. This is what this is a great exercise to practice outside of the session as well. And stop there. How many did we get? Eight. Eight, right, let's change places. Okay. If you're on your own, you could be throwing the ball against the wall and catching it as well. Use your ball as the partner in this one. Works just as well. Absolutely. Really important to practice the footwork if you're doing that on your own. Or you could be practicing our, our volley dance as well again. Okay, ready? 30 more seconds. What scores did you beat? What, what scores did I you get? I got eight. You got eight. Who else got eight? He's not planned. He's not. All right. <laughs> okay, eight as well. Oh, well done, uh, Odysseus. Fantastic score. Super. Right, ready. Let's see if we can beat our score this time. Okay, ready? Right, 30 seconds. Let us know if you're on Team Joe or Team Scott. Time starts now. Step. Yes, already a good start from me. Oh no! Spoke too soon. I'm going to do that back in again. If you miss one, you've got to then try and correct it. So if you miss it on the forehand side, you've got to do it again. Oh, does that count, Joe? That does not count. That does not count. Oh. Right, right so. He's always sticking to that for uh, his scar. Six. And I'm throwing the ball quite far away from him Seven. so that his arm comes out to that ball. Right, stop there. Oh no, I got eight as well! I actually had 32 seconds. Oh, okay, so I got eight. Did you beat me and Joe? Did you beat your previous score? Let us know on that one. Okay, and you do not need your frying pan unless you don't have a racket. If you do have a racket, grab your tennis racket. And you do need a ball as yeah, well. Not as often, then I'm going to So, final progression of our skill of the day is we're going to be trying to send it back to our partner. Okay? So you're going to try and do this quite gently, but you're doing the correct footwork again. So Joe's going to throw it out to the side. I go step, step, and hit. Notice how I actually had... This is also why we use the, the saucepan. Because you've got to have your racket slightly open, as if you were to catch it in that sort of yeah. Watch the way that the ball comes back to me. So when Scott hits that ball, it comes through the air to me in a particular way. Step, step. See, and it, it goes up. Up. There's a little rainbow shape, isn't it? Same there? on the other side. Step, step. Okay. Step, step. And notice my back foot is off the floor after I've hit the ball. Okay, because my weight transfers forwards. 
like that, okay? If right. you're on your own, you can do this against the wall. This is still going to be practicing footwork. Don't try and go too fast though, because off a wall, the ball will come back to you too quickly. So you'll try and hit it a little bit slower, and that might give you enough time to actually get that ball back and to do your footwork. Right, let's do a 30 second challenge. Right, I'll go first. Go on, you you okay. get a timer. I'm going to go first. You've got to work together because if you end up volleying it really, really far away, okay, then they're going to have to be running after the ball all the time. So you've got to be quite gentle, okay? okay. Are we ready, everybody at home? Oops, I've turned it off again. Your time starts now. Ready? One. So you're always going step, step, step to the side, step in front, okay? Doing that tennis salsa, that, that volley dance. I'm going to set a high score for you guys to beat. We're using a softball at home, so if you're using a harder ball, make sure that you're being careful with it. Don't hit it too hard. Two seconds left. One, and stop there. Oh, how many did you get? 19. 19, right, I'll count for you. <clears throat> Ready? So did you beat 19, guys? Quite a typical score, I thought. Yeah. Quite a good one. We'll see. I'm afraid I'm going to hit you. your drink over. Right, are you ready? Let's see if you can beat our score. Let us know if you're on Team Joe, Team Scott. Did you beat me? Are you going to beat Joe? Three, two, one, and go. I'll count. It's gone all silent here. This is good TV. <laughs> yeah. I hope everyone at home is as silent and as concentrating as we are. Hey, you're counting, Scott. I am. I am. Yeah. For, for one. Got some. I'm not very good at counting. Gonna make them move more. That's it. That's it. If they're finding it easy, make them move more to the side. Joe's demonstrating really good footwork here. He's staying light on his feet. I've stopped counting. No, you're twenty. <laughs> twenty to beat. He's laid down the gauntlet now, guys. Okay. What scores did we get? That's 29 well from the Brinkman's. Well done. It's going to be one of those Brinkman's. 14 from Jack and Bruno. Well done. 12 from... 14 from uh, Jack and Amir. Bruno or from one of you? From one of you. Which one did you... So, yes, they... Oh, no. What did we get? We got 20. 18 and 20. 18 and 20. Okay. So, we had good scores there. Right. Okay, right. Our last thing today. We're actually going to do the competition, the same competition we introduced you to yesterday. Three. The same thing we're going to carry on doing throughout the week to see if you can improve your score. This very imaginatively is called throw, clap, jump. So if we go throw, clap, jump. Throw, clap, jump. Now, as we've done that once, you add an extra go in every single time. So the second go, after you've done it once, you'll go throw, clap, throw, clap, jump, jump. We've done it twice, we do it three times. Throw, clap, throw, clap, throw, clap. Put it down, and then I wonder how many jumps we're going to do. Three, if you're watching three. Scott Kelly there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so we're going to give you 30 seconds. Your goal here is to obviously try and beat us, but throughout the week, try and beat your score. Can you do it better and better and better? Doesn't matter if you don't do it quite so well one day, you'll have another day to try and beat it. I think, Scott, if I'm correct me if I'm it, wrong. This looks like an S Club 7 routine. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Who said that? Who said that? That is hilarious. Who is the royal <laughs> banana? <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Uh, can you imagine who came up with it? <laughs> so, uh, I think yesterday we got five and a half or so. We, we did. I was yes. so slightly ahead, but I didn't complete it, so it didn't matter. Well, I think we're going to improve it this today, Joe. Right, you ready? Yeah. Right, I want you to move over so I've got more room. More space, more space. <laughs> Ready, 30 seconds, starting now. Concentration etched on my face there, <laughs> but I was not going to lose. <laughs> that was so intense, from Joe. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> that was so. I did not beat my score. 
I still, I did. I still got five. I actually I managed managed six that time, I think. But to be honest, nobody knows when we stopped because Scott started laughing. I think Joe needs a code violation for that one for making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what scores did we get? Seven for Jack. Well done. Oh, Seven. That is amazing. We, I hope you that is very good. I, I'm not entirely sure I'm ever going to make seven. Seven point one two five for Bruno. <laughs> you don't get point one two five. Otherwise, <laughs> yesterday I was on five seven five. That was well done. Is that because you just had to get slightly ahead of your brother? Ten from Odysseus. Fantastic. Oh my God. Right, you two. I'm absolutely challenging you to this when we get back. I want to see. Film. I want to see a video of that. That was fantastic. Row of my squad lined up, practicing <laughs> exactly this. Right, that was fantastic. Right, okay, so brief recap of everything we've been doing. So we started off with three <laughs> items on the floor you were practicing, stepping to them with whatever leg you wanted to, upon command from one of the dynamic what? duo. Um, yeah, then we had the version, yes, yeah, then we progressed on to us calling out the uh, foot. foot. Well. We did the ball, the hilarious ball hand reaction. Hopefully you found that quite amusing if you were on your own doing that with us. Then we did the uh, kick and throw. Very right, same time. And then the skill of the day. The skill of the day was some volleying, particularly volleying footwork, stepping out and then in. Out, in. So okay. get practicing. I would love some videos of you doing that volley footwork, just out to the side and then forwards. There's the loads that we can the see. Volley. You don't have a racket in your hand. There's loads that we can see from the direction of your hips, shoulders, where your foot stepping, which foot you're using how you recover back to the middle, etc. Loads of stuff that we can see there and, and comment on and get feedback to you and if you're course, interested. And then of course we finished with our uh, daily challenge, which <laughs> jump, which I ended up having a, a laughing fit for. Hopefully, I will, I promise you guys I will do better tomorrow. Okay, um, if you haven't already, send us a, a, any videos in of you practicing your uh, skills of the day. We'll be doing a lockdown challenge straight after this and look out soon for our advert which we are doing which will include lots of you saying this is my tennis court if you haven't done sent us a video yet you've got a, an extra little chance to do it as well um hope you had fun guys and we will see you tomorrow at four o'clock have a good rest of your day bye adios tennis <laughs>